What's up everyone? So today we're going to be doing a commando shorty build. Smooth cannon off the bat is amazing. It gives good cooldown reduction and attack speed on the shorty, which is just what we want really. Um, normally if I'm doing a shorty build I end up going headhunter because it is the stronger and more broken option. But there is actually another option which doesn't get talked about too much, which is an explosive variant. So we're going to run that build today. Um, it's not as strong as Headhunter, but it is equally as fun for different reasons. Um, we are also going to want to be running the Marking Shorty. Um, and you'll have to forgive my lack of using proper names when you're playing at the same time. The, my ability to memorize names kind of goes out the window. I'm going to take post stamp here. It's a nice little boon. Having a chance for a big damage buff on a bunch of enemies can be very nice, especially in party rooms. Okay, we don't have, literally none of this is what we're going to use in the, per, in the build. Probably not going to use any of these either. So we're going to just grab shorty, wild burst. So increased damage by 15% on the shorty and makes it explosive damage. This in itself isn't considered a particularly strong perk. Um, if you take Scanning Burst, so the shorty marking option and perks, it becomes quite a lot stronger just because the way the explosive kind of deal damage when they bounce just seems to be huge damage and they have a habit of pretty much hitting a whole room. It's really, really easy just to mark a whole room with one shorty burst. Um, which I shouldn't need to tell you is a huge damage boost in general. And we also have a nice little upgrade for this version of the shorty, which has a 30% chance to basically refund itself. This elite is being a real pain in the ass. Which means on occasion you can just hold down the shorty button and it will just carry on blasting. And it's pretty neat. I said neat and nice in one word there. It turned into nice. I'm not sure that's really how that word is meant to be used. None of these upgrades are particularly useful. Um, I'm probably just going to take hand gripper. There's a little bit of buffer for now so that reloading doesn't feel so bad. Just run that suicide into the wall. Um, one benefit of the explosive shorty is it kind of removes the range drop off that your shorty would normally have. Now obviously Headhunter also basically removes that, but um, you also need to be a lot more accurate with it. So this is a far better build for just kind of gun and run and not having to worry too much about accuracy. So it's a bit more user friendly, not so high skill ceiling. Um, potential damage spikes and such that you're going to get from it are going to be a lot less but it's still a nifty build to use and quite a lot of fun. We'll take Winter's Hat here, not necessarily going to use a cryo weapon but if we do it'll be a good bonus and uh, if we don't end up picking it up then all we've lost is one cell. Alright, we don't really want one of the, any of these but we also don't have the number of rerolls that means we can reroll at this point. Um, explosion radius doesn't really matter too much. I'm just going to take black powder. It'll increase the damage of our rockets and it'll increase the damage of our shorty. Hope we do get the refresh perk for the shorties within the next upgrade because it is quite an important one. Delaying it by one level is quite painful because realistically what we want to do is we want the scanning burst next 
and then by then we would already want the cooldown, the 30% cooldown chance, and then next upgrade you'd normally get ricochet distance so that when you shoot things you can hit more targets and you don't have to be only bouncing to close targets. Just makes the perk a little bit more user friendly in general. But unfortunately obviously ships have not landed that way. We do have claw string here so that's a nice 10% damage boost. And there we have scanning burst. We also have baby boon here. Baby boom not boon. Um, which is really good perk and we're probably going to want that later. But scanning burst is priority if you manage to get it. Shoot a rocket at that so that we get rid of those. You'll see that the damage to a room is going to start escalating quite quickly at this point. Because it just ricochets so efficiently. Oh, elites it can be such a pain when lacking DPS. So the two other perks that we're going to hopefully get, the main ones that we want, are one of the elemental powders. Yeah, it depends what items we get between now and finding that perk on which one I'm going to pick. If I don't get any specific strong items for either element then I'll probably go fire or burn um, just because it's one of the more consistent DPS buffs you can get um, but if we end up picking up a drums although I feel like we saw drums earlier so we probably won't be getting it again um, or arty shock or anything like that then we might end up going for those instead because um, we just want to try and get the most damage out um, and the shock and cryo variants actually have a higher damage bonus attached to them than the burn variant um, but obviously it doesn't come with burn over time which is also a damage increase so it is kind of preference which one you'd want to go for Obviously, if you can stun or slow, then it's going to be safer than just pure damage. If you're competent in your ability to stay alive without something like that, then burn in general should be a higher DPS option. Yeah, Acquistation tends to be quite a difficult one because we haven't quite got the damage bonus that we would normally want or need in order to be making this substantially strong build. I'm going to reroll because this 30% instant recall recover on cooldown is actually quite big. Um, I didn't want to have to use a reroll, but we do have scanning burst and wild burst now. So we have the two core perks, so we can just build around at this point. Okay, so we've got Arty Shock. So if I grab that, then we may well go. I'm gonna grab this Gatling as well. Um, it'll be decent damage while our short is on cooldown. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to grab the Shock Powder which is fairly decent. It means that the shorty will do, I think it's 50% increased damage to any targets that are stunned. So obviously on top of marking, that is gonna start racking up really big numbers. You can see like the whole room just gets marked repeatedly. I can kill him.
do need to be playing this a little bit more carefully because I'm not tanky and I don't have most DPS just yet. This is a very nice Gatling gun that's going to carry us for a while but can't rely solely on it. Hmm. I also got a life jacket, but it's a bit late now. I can't remember if I did leave drum behind or not. If I did, it's a shame. If I didn't, then going the shock variation is generally a good option for AoE damage because the drums are so good. Just adding extra ricochet damage is just really nice. Yeah, teleport over there. That's a weird spot to teleport to. Okay, so ugly tie for more boss damage. Viking helmet. Viking helmet is actually really good on commando because of his passive, his frenzy. It gives him movement speed. It might be a very small movement speed buff, but he is one of the few characters that just passively gets a movement speed buff, so it's pretty good on him. Messed up dodging that. Um, elemental powder. I would normally prefer baby boom bird, if I'm honest. But Elemental Powder is here and we've got a few rerolls, so we'll just grab Electro, Electro Powder now. So, increases your shock damage by 1% per Fury, that's across the board. And it then means your Rocket and your Shorty now also deal shock damage. So it's a good 12% damage bonus to shock, and because we've got... Artichoke, that's an extra 20% damage, so we've just increased our shorty damage by about, what, 33% or something, while also letting it give off shock. So we're now a bit safer, we hit a whole room and have a chance of stunning. And you can see at the moment it's hitting for, what's that, 50 to 80 odd damage, dependent. And if they're marked or not, and then there's crits to take into account as well. So the damage is pretty decent at the moment. We've got stunned by Artichoke there, but that's fine. As you can see there, we've just hit what five targets with one shorty burst. And the really nice thing is if they're all bunched up, you shoot your shorty into the group and then because it's an explosive and because it's a shotgun, it hits multiple enemies anyway. So then there's multiple different ricochets going on and multiple different hits and it all just kind of scales up really quite nicely and AoE and yeah. Not the highest single target damage but it does have some really nice AoE effects. Arbalist is one of the best guns in the game, um, but because we're a not focusing on an Arbalist but on our gun build, and we've already got an actually really good missile Gatling, I'll just stick with the Gatling. We do unfortunately find a hot dog, so burn might have been a better option to go for, um, but hindsight's 2020. We can still make this work. We're still not going to feel bad about our option. It's just one of them things where you gamble on what items you're going to be getting or you forget what items you've already had or what could be coming up um, this is still a decent damage choice okay. your upgrade we don't really care about executing enemies at 8% health that's such a low percent that most enemies are going to die from the next shot anyway so you don't really need it um, target amount increased by one is really good. It's just more AoE. More AoE equals more damage, which also equals more things marked. Can't really go that wrong with it. Where are we going? Up to the left. 
go. Uh, we're going to take Frog Prince. I don't like taking perks in general that trigger off you taking damage because you don't want to be taking damage. But at least at the moment with this setup, if I take damage, I'll get movement speed. And movement speed, because I have Viking Helmet, equals damage. So taking damage will increase fire rate and increase my damage, basically. So good little synergy there with the items. I was worried for a second that I didn't actually have Viking Helmet and it was a different run that I was thinking about where I had Viking Helmet. The problem when you play too many runs, you get the different runs mixed up in what you have and haven't seen, or what you have and haven't got. You can see the kind of damage that we're doing now. We instantly killed one of the guys as we entered the room with our shorty. And like half health in other targets with the ricochets. Very, very nice. Ah, oh, if I'd taken the hot dog, this would be beautiful. This would be absolutely astounding if I'd taken the hot dog. So we've got popcorn. I should really have thought about the fact that popcorn still exists. Um, so I don't really want to take Paintbrush because it means that my damage is going to be decreased against enemies that are fire immune and they're already going to be decreased against enemies that are shock immune. So I'm not going to take Paintbrush but I will take Popcorn um, because marking targets causing burning is almost as good as just dealing burn damage with the shots. Anyway, now again if obviously I had picked up the hot dogs earlier then that would also be increasing the AoE potential that we have. Uh, which is a huge shame that I didn't do. That was a bit of an oversight on my part, but hopefully you guys will learn from my mistakes and realize that that is an option. If you have consistent marking, the fact that popcorn exists should always be in your mind's eye, unless you are engineer. And then popcorn will not trigger off of your drones marking. Right, this is the main reason that we go for electro powder. Increase rocket and shorty damage by 50% against stun targets. 50% is one of the largest damage buffs that you can get in the game. It's a ridiculous number. Um, that is how much damage bonus marking it. So now if the target is marked and stunned they are now going to be taking 100% extra damage from a shorty and we're half helping elites now with this combo with just one shorty which is pretty impressive if you ask me so you don't have to aim it at all, you literally just pull the trigger every time it's off the cooldown. Then it's what? 5 times 80 damage on a crit is then? Very nice. We want to try and be as quick as we can here to save as much fury as possible. Did not get a lucky reset there. We did get a lucky reset here. Didn't get another reset there, which is unfortunate. Another reset there. Wait until he's closer so that I could have a closer up stun. Oh, I wanted to delay that down a little bit, but that didn't matter too much. You can see a very nice damage there. Each shorty shot was... Each pellet was hitting for 100 damage, and I think it's 5 pellets that hit. So, like, 500 damage is not to be sniffed at. 500 damage where you don't have to really aim as well. That's the thing. Is it 5 or is it 4? Get your bubble out of the way, woman. Yeah, 5. 99% sure. 
So we haven't been lucky enough to have two power cells here so that we could pick up fighter jet. That's fine. We don't really need fighter jet. That would just be a little bit silly of an upgrade, but we could have had it. Grab the cells and upgrade weapon. We may as well grab fly net so we do increase damage. If we end up getting Beetle Royale at the end, then obviously that's a damage boost to that boss as well. Just want to keep stacking up these numbers. Stacking up more and more damage. Do we get Baby Boom? We do get Baby Boom. This is a good run. Self-control would be fine as well because it increases your number of fury stacks which when you're using elemental powders also increases your elemental damage so it's effectively a damage increase didn't get any resets on him which was unfortunate but this is a kind of RNG based build and yeah, it just meant it was a bit of a slower kill Um, I may as well grab coffee mug here. We do have an alt fire, so coffee mug will reduce the cooldown of it. We would like another upgrade that reduces the cooldown of the shorty, just a little. It'd be a nice little boom. But it would not be the end of the world because we could also get 20% uh, auto crit chance on our explosives, which is everything that we're using at the moment. I'm ignoring my own rules there and I didn't target the turret that was up there that could have ended the run very easily. That was all a bit risky, but it paid off. And we've now got a rubber ducky, so our alt fire missile blast, not barrage, um, now doing some incredible damage. If we hit a target that isn't shielded. <laughs> How much damage is this doing? Let's have a look. 400, almost 500 damage, and that wasn't marked. Not using heavy weapons. Group discount doesn't do anything against bosses, so it's an okay pickup, but we don't really need it at this point. Lucky Powder, best option there. Not really worried about the Goliath in this room. Everything else is far more of a threat. Did you see how much that got melted because of being marked and being stunned and baby booms proccing? So much damage. Our rockets are hitting for 700 damage. Our old fire is hitting for 500 damage. Our shorty is hitting for 500 damage. It's all coming up bravely. That rocket hit for a thousand damage. So yeah, despite the fact that we haven't done a rocket build, our rockets are chunking for a huge amount of damage. We haven't built specifically for guns, but our Gatling is still doing 100 plus damage per Gatling rocket. It's a build that does focus primarily on one aspect of character, but then ends up just buffing everything. What did I miss? I missed that one area up there. Fuck's sake. It's alright, we're clearing so quickly that time's not really an issue here. It's just a pain in the ass having to go back for two mods. Mainly just because um, missile gathering is a really bad rocket jump weapon, so it's difficult to get some decent speed up with it.
Okay, so here we're going to... This is going to be huge, actually. So I'm going to take this. I wouldn't normally recommend taking it because reduced radius is a real pain in the ass um, and it reduces rocket jump distance. And we're also going to take toaster. Now, this is a humongous boost. He's actually really lucky that we chose not to take the paintbrush. If we took paintbrush, then our shorty would be doing burn damage. Which means we wouldn't get a damage boost from toaster. But because we have popcorn, it's not dealing burn damage. It's marking, which is then burning. And then if we're hitting a burning target, we're dealing plus 35% damage. So that is going to be a huge damage bonus. So with the shorty alone, we're getting 20% damage because it's shock and it's artichoke. Plus the 12% from our frenzy. Plus 15% from atomic. 35% when they're burning from toaster. 50% from popcorn. We're going to have the movement speed bonus from viking helmet. And then when we stun them, um, it's going to be another 50% damage. Like, it's so much damage that is just racking up there. This is an example of why you kind of take briefcase. So that you can try and pick up all of these items that are just comboing up and letting you do all of this huge damage. Um, we'll just take special trick here. Just 15% increased damage is probably the most solid option. Look at all those juicy juicy numbers. We don't even have to get close at this point. We can just sit back, try and hit as many targets with each shorty shot that we can so that it's then ricocheting to as many enemies as it can. Beautiful, beautiful build. And a run really kicks off like this, it's really, really fun. And this build doesn't rely on items. Um, this is a strong build without items. The items just really emphasize how strong the build can get. And yeah, this is the weaker of the two prototype builds as well. That's the funny thing. Like, the uh, Headhunter is stronger than this. But, this is a lower skill ceiling. It's easier to use. Like, I'd be impressed if you could miss hitting things with the shorty. Like I'm half healthing things around the corner that I haven't even got into the room with yet. Seven hundred rocket damage there. Don't really need anything here. Got a nice power jump there. Jump around that corner, you can keep your height so that you can get up here nice and easy. running off and hiding as they always do which is a pain in the arse. Saw the uh, baby boom props there as well. I um, badmouthed baby boom a while ago and I really should just make an apology video to baby boom as a perk because it's actually really good. I have grown to appreciate it more and more after using it. I'm slightly worried there because I was landing on an explosive guy and a flamer. That could literally have ended my run if I got stunned. Okay, we've got Smooth Cannon. You would think that Black Powder would be a better option here because there's a chance that I get 
loads of resets and the cooldown isn't useful um, but it's also the attack speed might not seem like it's doing a lot but it's really quite strong especially if you're getting the resets just being able to attack quicker we're now on 40% increased attack speed on the shorty so if we get an instant recovery then the next shot is just that 40% quicker afterwards which is more damage or more DPS bonus than 10% right so again you should probably try and be a bit quick here so that we can keep our fury stacks Done and get two shorty bursts off. Three, two, there we go, another two. Get another stun. Three rocket sh no, three shorty shots, two shorty shots. Gonna intentionally drop here. And he's dead. I didn't get as many resets or as many lucky crits as we would have liked to showcase how much damage we were doing at the end there. But there you go. Don't let people tell you that that build path is bad. Just because it's weaker than some others doesn't mean it's overall just completely useless. So that's me done. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you have any ideas of what you would like to see in the next videos, let me know because otherwise I'm just going to keep putting out things like this. Alright guys, peace out. Enjoy.